All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, I changed the name on my channel because there's a sci-fi character called Lehman Russ, and I just thought he was a badass. So uh, I'm really excited about today's video. I know I haven't been posting very much, but I want to do more. Um, the series of videos that I'll be making about this will take a few months um, because I just ordered my receiver from Childers and it usually takes four to six weeks to uh, ship in from their uh, factory or their workshop. Um, but here I have a 1965 uh, Romanian parts kit. It's non-matching, but that's all right. I don't have any issues with that. I, I, I'll just focus uh, on, on making the, it properly, make sure all the parts fit, and that it, uh, the head spacing is correct because I don't want to have a catastrophic discharge. But uh, all the parts seem to be in good shape. Um, there's the, the uh, screw that holds the handle in. I got my trigger guard. got my bunch of small parts. I got, I got, I'm doing my 922R compliance, so I'm just kind of going through here. I got, my, I got some parts that I um, need that are American. I got an uh, American barrel um, with my receiver. That's American. I got a rivet set that's coming in. That's American. Um, I, and uh, I, I'm working on, uh, I'm getting a Krebs safety with a little paddle down here um, so that I can flip it up with just my index finger instead of using my whole hand to push that thing up. So, and then I'm going to get a, uh, on my sight block, I'm going to replace that, this uh, rear leaf sight, I'm going to replace it with a peep aperture sight. Um, so I'll actually have a, a, a peep sight on the back here. It's, there's an American company that makes them. Uh, I think they're called Power Customs. I'm not sure. I know Krebs makes one, but uh, the one I'm getting is about half the price. Uh, but then again, I, I might go with the Krebs one. Uh, like I said, this will take me a few months because I'm buying this all out of pocket. I'm not getting any kind of sponsorships or anything. I'm just a guy who believes in the Second Amendment, and I want to uh, take that belief to the furthest extent by actually building a firearm. Uh, here's my rear trunnion. It's in great shape. There's no uh, no deformation of any of the holes. They're all they're all fine. The only part that was really deformed was my trigger guard. Uh, as you can see, it's sort of messed up. But I I have a, I have access to a machine shop where I work, so I can get that fixed. It's no problem. And if I need to use a different size rivet, we have all sorts of rivets that. I might be able to use to to check that out, and I have tools for measuring uh, that hole, so it's no big deal. And if all, if all else fails, I'll just be able to I'll just weld it, uh, more, you know, to to attach it. I'll just do a few spot welds. It'll, it'll be no no issue. Uh, I know there are AKs that dudes will make, and they'll have welded the whole gun together. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a rivet build. I, I have the, the press. I, I got a I got a good deal on a press, 12 ton press. Um, and uh, I, I'm getting the rivet jigs coming in. I just ordered my uh, trigger guard, my basically my trigger assembly rivet jigs, uh, the ones that do the rivets for these holes here. So, um, but yeah, I, I got this Romanian one because it's cheap. And Romanian, you know, the Kugir factory, they made good, good AKs. It's, you know, they're, they're good quality. They're inexpensive, but uh, what's interesting is um, this came with these, these uh, uh, I can't remember the, the plywood, a big block of plywood that they milled the parts out of um, on the buttstock and the, uh, the dong grip, but it's got a full hardwood gas cover, so that's kind of funny. Uh, I really like the top cover the dust cover. I like those uh, spines that they have here aesthetically just you know from a aesthetic point of view I think that it really looks World War II ish uh, you know what I mean uh, I really am excited about it. Got, oh I, and I got a wolf uh, recoil spring so that'll add to my 922R compliance um, but I got my bolt here my front trunnion 
Um, again, these parts don't match. They're not matching, but it's okay. I, 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 I'm fairly confident in my machining skills, and I'm fairly confident in my, uh, in my uh, ability to, to assemble uh, parts together. There's plenty of information online um, on how to build these things. And I know a lot of people build Romanian AKs because they're the cheapest parts kits you could find, typically. Um, I know that there are Hungarian underfolders that are pretty cheap right now, but um, I wanted to get a fixed stock one because I like I like fixed stocks. I don't really I have I have an underfolder uh, Serbian gun AK, but I I, I prefer the uh, fixed stock. Um, and what I'm going to do with the wood is I'm going to strip all the, the uh, finish off of them and make up a really, really deep red finish for all, all the wood parts. And then I hope I can get it to match. I know that the buttstock is way darker than the, uh, you know, the forward hand guard, but I, I think I can manage. I mean, I don't care if they're all different. It's, it is a parts kit. It's no big deal. I'm just excited to be able to build one. I'm getting all the tooling in. I'm getting all of the, uh, the, th the accoutrement needed to uh, make it. So yeah, it's, it's really cool. And I'll be posting videos over the next few weeks as I get stuff in. Um, if you're interested, whoever's, I, there are like six subscribers on my channel, but um, it's no big deal. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, I'll be, I'll be uh, building an AK. I'll be posting updates on my, uh, on my parts as I get them in, and I'll, I'll, I'll have a video on my press, my 12 ton press, there's a cheapo from, some from eBay, I don't know what it was, but it's, it's fine, it'll do the job. I just need uh, level tables, I need, you know, good, good measuring tools, I got my calipers there, uh, and I got, a, I got depth micrometers, so those will come in handy. My uh, biggest fear, my biggest challenge, I think, that I'll have um, is, this barrel isn't drilled for the gas port. So um, in here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me, right there in that hole, that's a slanted gas port. Um, and I'm not sure, uh, I'll check the AK forums and all those different websites, but I don't know if I have to have a slanted hole in here or if I can just use a mill and make an oval or a slotted hole that is the same um, length overall as that um, slot, you know, the slanted gas uh, port because the, it, the gas comes in at an angle. It, the bullet travels down here, gas gets captured in there, it comes up and hits the uh, piston, which drives the action backwards. But I don't know if, because that hole's drilled at an angle. I don't know if I have to match that angle in, when I drill the hole in the barrel or if I can drill a straight hole down but mill it so it's a, a longer hole, or if that will overgas the firearm and it'll wreck my, uh, my bolt carrier assembly, if it'll slam too hard into the rear trunnion and, and mash it. I don't know. Um, my guess is, is go, you know, is uh, try and match that angle and just drill it into the barrel at that same angle. It'll be a little bit of math and a little bit of measuring, but yeah, I, there's a guy on YouTube I watched. I can't remember what his channel name is. I'm sorry, dude, but I watched it and, and uh, he, t he explained you know, how you measured to figure out where you put your hole. But he didn't go over whether or not you put a slanted hole or a vertical hole in it. Um, also, I got my, my muzzle device here. It's not a muzzle device, it's a muzzle nut, but I ordered it an, an American-made one. So that uh, counts as my 922R compliance. So I got my rivets, American, American spring, American receiver, American barrel, American muzzle nut, um, uh, my selector lever plate, uh, or my selector lever stop, I guess that's what it's called. Um, that's that thing from DDI. Uh, my my uh, keeper pin, so or my pin keeper. It's uh, what this is. This is your. Uh, your hammer, your safety, or your, your, basically your trigger assembly and your safety kind of fit in here and this locks it in. What, what it usually comes with in an AK is this like spring, they call it a shepherd's hook, and it really does tend to 
have some issues I hear. I don't know. I don't have any, I actually don't have any AKs that use them. They, all my AKs, fortunately enough, came with uh, uh, pin keepers in them. I checked when I heard about the Shepherd's Hook, I checked on my guns and they have these, so it's cool. Um, I got my, my handguard uh, retaining lever here. This is what holds the front handguard in and attaches to the barrel. You can see the notch right there. There's a uh, thing that kind of, there's a, basically it rotates in there with this lever and that's what locks it in. Or you can see it right there, that little uh, barrel that locks into this uh, slot on the barrel. But yeah, um, I'm very excited. I hope whoever watches is ex you know excited to see the process. I'll be doing it over the next couple months. Um, I do work two jobs. I got a full-time job and a side job. So my, my hours of labor on this rifle will be spread out considerably. But I will be posting um, as I get stuff in and as I start the, the building process. So yeah, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great uh, 2018. It's still January, so, uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.